Hi guys, Chris here, just checking in with you to give you a wee reminder of what you're doing for stage 2 developing in the graded unit. So the first requirement in your handout is 2D or 3D development work. That should show some experimentation with the different visual elements that are relevant to your project. This could be 2D or 3D. It can include loose pieces like these, or it could include sketchbook experimentation, maquettes, models, whatever's applicable to your experimentation within your own idea. We're also looking to see that you've kept a record of your process so you can explain how you've used your time and how you feel about the work that you've produced so some critical reactions to your work can be really useful as well. Format wise this is up to you, obviously this is a PDF but you can hand it in as a, as a Word file or a part of your sketchbook. We also want to see how your influences have evolved throughout your project. So if you can continue your visual research from the planning stage, then you'll be able to show that. Try and introduce new influences or other artists that you've learned about. I've got books here which I'm going to make copies of from a sketchbook, but in your case you can do this digitally, you can do this in any format, but sketchbook research is great. These are from books, as I say, but working from gallery websites like the Tate or the Ingleby Gallery might be really useful as well. And finally, a very significant part of the assessment of stage two is your final piece. So this will be your resolved triptych of three panels, obviously, refined and resolved to a high standard, but showing clear relationship to the ideas that you've experimented with in your development work. So to recap, 2D or 3D developmental experimentation, high quality resolved final piece, a record of your process and continued visual research and influences. Thanks guys, remember if I can be of any help to you at all I'm on Teams so have a chat with me if I can do anything for you. Thank you.